Hello my lovely Sagittariuses. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes and I am here to do your December 2019 and January 2020 love reading. Um, keep in mind it's within a month's time of when you watch this so it doesn't matter if you watch it in December or in January. It seems today is the last day of December. Um, it's just kind of some residual energy of what's gone on this month and to what for the and what's to come in seems January it's right around the corner I am going to do a January reading for you um, after the new year I was having technical difficulties so that is why this is so delayed um, but you are the last zodiac sign that I have for the end of 2019 and I really wanted to make sure it was posted in 2019 um, but anyways time is fluid so it doesn't really matter when the messages need to be um, given to you that's when they'll be given but anyways I have a lot of great things coming up for next year I can't wait might be doing some lives and whatnot but I'm just gonna go over my general mumbo jumbo this is a general reading it will not apply to every single one of you I wish I could do that but I can't if you'd like me to pick up on your personal energy please email me my emails in the box below I will gladly give you all the information that you need on that it's on the community tab as well as my website um, and please check me out on patreon if you would like um, yeah, hit me up for a personal. I love reading for you guys. I do have openings. Um, I haven't picked a winner for the drawing yet for the holiday um, giveaway. I'm going to do that after the first of the year. So I will email the individual who won because I don't know if they really want their name out there or not. But I will do that. Um, I only have a couple people in there, so you guys know who you are. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's dive right in I almost don't know what to think like that's the energy that I'm sitting in right now it's kind of the it's almost like the two of pentacles the back and forth it's almost like I feel like I know what I want but I don't know how to get it um, I don't know if I fuck something up is kind of what I'm what I'm thinking in my head is like did I screw this up um, I feel like this there was a failed attempt at starting a relationship with somebody whether it's on your side or the person you're connecting to, take it where it fits, vice versa, we're dealing with energy. Um, I feel like one one person in this situation, I kind of feel like it's the other person that you're dealing with, Sag, um, that they, when you were interested or when you approached this person at some point throughout this year, during this past year, um, they they almost rejected you in a sense. I don't feel like they flat out rejected you, but I feel like a union never came together and now they're kind of um, overthinking the shit out of it because they feel like they ran out of time or they messed it up. I feel like I messed something up um, that it might not progress forward because you know I wasn't ready at this point and now I am. Are they gone? So this person might fear that you're gone, Sagittarius, and if that's not them, it could be your feelings. But overall, we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And express your love. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. So I feel like somebody is really struggling with expressing their feelings, and they did in the past, and it's almost like it's coming to a head now. Someone really wants to say how they feel about you or you want to say how you feel about this person um, because there's been a realization that there really is something special here like there's a connection that's worth exploring is what I'm feeling so with express your love I have the shadow side so what's the hold up what's what had stopped this person or what stopped you from moving forward and just opening up and expressing your feelings and getting this relationship off the ground I feel like for whoever this is this is new love this is someone you've never dated before for some of you it could be someone from your past um, it could either be a friend or just someone you've known you might have like gone on a couple dates with this person but it, you weren't in a relationship you weren't in a solid commitment with this individual for whoever this is for but take it where it fits if it makes sense to you and it's um, an ex or whatever then it could be your story just wrapped up in you know in that <laughs> so the obstacle or what's holding this person back is guarded so they're very guarded but with the butterfly here it's almost like this is the end with the skull like I don't know 
like skull and bone is really hard so they're being protected by this shell but there's an opportunity to expand it's like um, the unknown not giving up um, they just don't know how to break the their exterior shell basically but I feel like this person wants to talk to you they just don't know how at this time or they didn't know how up until now they're trying to figure it out because they do want to tell you how they feel and then we have disconnected so there has been a disconnect in this situation I do feel like if you were talking to this person um, even if it was just periodically throughout the year or just over the course of a few months um, there has been a disconnect so it's almost like one of you probably you Sagittarius was like oh I can't sit in this anymore I'm not gonna sit here wait for someone who can't give me an answer who can't uh, move forward who can't get out of their own head or get out of their own way so I feel like whoever is struggling with expressing their emotions they're very guarded and they're they disconnected from you um, from this potential union to gather their bearings basically um, they do know that this is a, this could be a solid commitment that you are different than anyone that they've ever been with or they're different depending vice versa um, so I feel like they're seeing things differently now it's almost like the hangman reversed because I did pop in my head that's why I'm saying it so they're seeing things from your perspective and from a different perspective so I feel like whoever's guarded in the situation whoever pulled away um, they're reflecting on their past and past relationships just how their actions um, the things that they've said to not only you but just to everybody just how they are what their life is what they want their life to be and I feel like they do see you in in their future but they're afraid that they might have waited too long that's what I feel um, there's gonna be a change I just heard change so I don't feel like it's gonna be sudden or drastic I feel like there's a change coming um, there might be some loose ends that need to be tied up and that might be what this person's focused on right now but I do feel like either by the end of January or in a month's time at the end of a month's time from when you view this there's going to be some kind of significant change in this dynamic between you and this person whether you end up with them or not I'm not quite sure yet but I do feel like um, you're going to get more information out of this person than you ever did. So there's going to be a lot of express, uh, like self-expression. Um, they might even unload their feelings on you at randomly and you're like, whoa, where'd this come from? You've never talked to me like this before kind of thing. So I feel someone's ready to talk. And then what they want to say to you that they're not saying is I know I screwed things up and honestly have no idea how to fix it. So I feel like this person like I said they're regretful they know that there's a connection here and I feel like they've waited too long so they they think you're gone um, and if they did reject you I don't know what they said to you maybe there was a disagreement between you and this person they might feel bad for what they said to you or what they didn't say you could have asked how they were feeling and what they wanted out of a connection and they wouldn't tell you and it kind of sent you in a new direction um, even though you're kinda I feel like you were holding on like holding on to hope that things would change in this connection um, you weren't uh, you weren't getting your hopes up you were just remaining hopeful because you kinda had a feeling that uh, it could go 50 50 you know you didn't really know where you stood and this person knows that my heart is telling me to just do it so yeah this person definitely wants to express themselves I feel like they are because I'm really focused on the butterfly in this image so I feel like they're really focused on something new something um, like getting out of a pattern an old pat, an old way of thinking an old way of doing um, they want to talk to you they want to express themselves and then we have lying was just easier for me than telling you the truth so I feel like this person had told you in the past that they didn't have feelings for you or that they weren't ready for a relationship if they said they weren't ready for a relationship I don't feel like that was the lie I feel like if they acted like they didn't care or that they weren't interested that was a lie they didn't express their feelings to you and they should have and I feel like this person fears that it sent you in a whole different direction and that they lost an opportunity here 
Um, and for some of you, they very well could have lost an opportunity because they did take so long um, or because of what they said or didn't say. Like I said, sometimes silence is an answer and people will take it and just run. Um, so your individual energy, with or without this person, Sag, is the five of athames. Ooh, where's the camera? There we go. <laughs> and it's reversed. So this is giving up, and I feel like that's exactly what you did. When this person either rejected you or just wouldn't talk about their feelings with you, I feel like you were like, okay, I tried. I gave it a solid effort. I thought that, you know, we could be together, we could make this work. I was willing to go slow. I was willing to cater to their needs, to do what whatever they needed. Um, and you just, you kind of got sick of waiting, and you got, you didn't want to get, you got the shaft, and it, it bothered you. Um, it's almost, I just heard I don't play second fiddle to anyone so you might have thought that there was somebody else in the picture and there very well could have been this person could have been caught up on a past person and they didn't know how to get out of that situation or if they even wanted to get out of that situation. Um, I feel like there's a lot of chaotic thoughts with the person that you're connecting to so that very well could, could have played a role in why they acted the way they did but ultimately you're like I've had I've had enough I'm not playing any games but then we have the world reversed so this is a cycle that hasn't completed I feel like you wanted to give up on the situation for your sanity but deep down you are still kind of you're still hanging on to it you still are like it's you haven't let it go you might be acting like you don't care like you don't want to talk to this person anymore where the fuck there we go um, so they might think that you've given up, but you haven't. The cycle hasn't come to a close. It hasn't completed. Because I feel like it hadn't really started to begin with. But, yeah, you're still open to to the concept of trying, of dating this person, basically. But they don't know that. So their individual energy, with or without you, is the sun reversed. <sighs> And I feel like this is unhappiness. I feel like this is that woe is me. That's why they're disconnecting from the world, from you, from everyone. They're very guarded. They're very jaded from whatever happened to them in the past. Um, it's almost like they're Eeyore with the rainy day clouds sitting over their head. Woe is me. Nothing ever works out. Glass half, excuse me, half empty. They don't ever see the bright side of, um, of anything. And even though there was, this has been... A slow build up to to this point I feel like they fear that you're gone and that you I, I hear you could have been the one so I feel like they literally think you're gone um, that you won't take them back or that you won't try to connect with them because of past past conversations past interactions um, so they're definitely dwelling on what they did what they said what they didn't say um, I, I shoulda, coulda, woulda kind of things, but they don't realize that if they would just open their mouth or just send you a message, they would definitely have the clarity that they need because they're, de they're in the dark right now. They don't know how you feel. I, no, they don't know if you still feel the same way because I feel like you did express your feelings before. And then we have the hermit reversed, clarifying that. So yeah, they want to come out of they want to come out of the shadows basically they did a lot of soul searching and they were trying to figure out what was making them so unhappy and I feel like you are the sunshine in their storm you do fulfill them in ways that other people haven't um, and they want to tell you this they just haven't said it yet I feel like it's coming because with the hermit reverse that's coming out of that um, re like self-reflection mode so this person has done a lot of inner work um, or they're trying to they might you know need a helping hand from you to to move forward um, but I feel like they want you in their world they they don't want to do this alone and they know that there's something unique about you there's something unique about this connection um, I almost feel like you've known them for a long time and maybe there was a, a long span of disconnect and then you kind of reconnected and when you reconnected with this person you Sagittarius you were like wow this has got to be meant to be because it's been like 20 fucking years or you know something along those lines that's just an example so you saw the beauty you saw what the universe was giving you you saw what was right in front of you and this person couldn't see it at that time because they were hung up in other shit they see it now 
and they feel like it's too late. So the mutual energy between the two of you is the battle wagon reversed, which is like the chariot reversed. So neither one of you have moved on from each other and there has been no forward movement either. So I feel like you're acting or this person is assuming that you're done even though you're not and they're sad without you and they want to express themselves they just don't know how so there has been no action towards communicating these feelings but they are there and neither one of you have moved on to other people yet um, even if you're considering it you just you haven't or they haven't or both of you because they definitely have you on their mind right now why is the battle wagon reversed here for mutual energy, please? My camera's like crooked. Ta da! That's a little better. <laughs> uh. Uh, the devil. Fear. Yeah, nobody's. I almost feel like nobody's moved forward with this connection because of this person's hang-ups they there was a lot of inner work that they needed to do like with guarded and disconnected I feel like they pulled away from friends family everybody um, and they pulled away from you too and you might be wondering with all the negative energy around this person because of their thoughts and their situation you might be wondering if this is even a, a connection that's worth having like is this a toxic connection is it healthy like do I even want to deal with someone who you know who doesn't see the sunny side of things ever like they're very pessimistic so these are the thoughts that you might be having and eh, they're just afraid so there has been no forward movement so far between the both of you but neither one of you have let it go I feel like this is more fear like and it's fear on both sides like I said with you you're you're fearing that it could be an unhealthy situation especially if this person doesn't pull themselves out of the muck and they're they're just fearful of opening up because they don't want to get hurt whatever happened to them in their past or throughout the years um, it definitely left its mark on this person so the way you feel about this person is the four of chalices reversed you don't want this to be a missed opportunity you're willing to give them another chance basically you haven't let go of it even though it seems like you have you don't want it to be a missed opportunity because you see the beauty in this connection you see you see what it could be it's almost like you're thinking about what what we can make this versus what it is right now and I mean I don't think this person is a bad person or anything I just feel like they have a lot going on like they even might deal with like PTSD or you know have some kind of uh, form of depression we have the king of cups you could be dealing with a water sign cancer Pisces Scorpio not necessarily but this is the king of cups he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve but he is very caring so it's like you're not telling this person that you haven't given up or that you still want this connection but your feelings are there if they would come forward and express themselves to you I feel like you would be more open um, I feel like you have been there for this person in a friendly capacity so if they told you some things about what's going on with them in the past you you wanted to talk talk it out with them like you were giving them advice I feel like you genuinely care about this person and I almost feel like you love this person so much that if you feel that the connection will never come together in a romantic capacity you're willing to stay this person's friend just because you care about them that much which is beautiful and that's actually true love because you're willing to do whatever that person needs um, but yet you're still connected to them I hope that makes sense so how they feel about you is the ace of athames which is the ace of swords they want to communicate they want to be open and honest with you they want to have a new beginning with you it's almost like a clean slate they, I feel a start over energy like I want to tell you what's been going on with me I want to tell you how I feel I want to see where this can go you know um, I feel the lines of communication are going to open up and they are probably going to be the ones to start it and that might be a shock to you 
because it might feel like it's coming out of nowhere. And then that's clarified with the Page of Swords. Oh, we have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. That's pretty sweet. So they do love you. There's love there. And I feel like this person wants to be honest with you about how they feel. They might approach it with the Page of Swords. They might approach it in a kind of a immature way. And I don't mean like in a nasty way or anything. The conversation is probably going to start off friendly, very minor. Um, like no feelings are going to be discussed at first. And then they're going to kind of work their way up into it. Um, this person has been keeping tabs on you, whether you know it or not. And I feel like most of you don't know that they are. Um, anytime you post a picture or I, I feel like they have, like on Facebook, they have your, your timeline or your page set to, like in notifications, they have it set. So anytime you post something, it shows up in their notifications so they can see it. You might not know this. Um... And even if they don't do that, they do stalk your page, they look at your pictures. I feel like that dreamy energy when I'm like holding my phone in my hand looking at someone's picture, just like imagining what could be. And, you know, they're very captivated by your beauty, um, just by your good looks, male, female, doesn't matter. But yeah, they want to start this conversation, they want to be open and honest with you, and they're going to start it off in a very light-hearted way. Um because they don't really know how to approach the situation especially it's almost like they don't want to be rejected even though they kind of rejected you so they're going to approach it in a friendly way and kind of test the waters to see if you're still there if you're still feeling the same way um, because they don't want to feel they don't want to get hurt and I feel like if you told them no that you didn't want to date them or didn't want to try it would crush this person so they're they're moving very very slowly and I feel like that we've had this story before and this person is moving at a snail's pace and has been throughout all of 2019 so hopefully there's some changes coming um, with this situation oh I just found some cards on the on the floor we have the eight of cups reverse that was down there that's returning with the four of swords they were taking a break and really heavily thinking about the situation and you and then the moon reverse so yeah they want to tell you they want to come back and tell you what they've been thinking about how much they miss you um, everything that's gone on since you guys had this disconnect so that's really good that's positive you gotta start somewhere baby steps um, potential outcome within a month's time or so as it stands is the star which is beautiful this is wish fulfillment this is also healing energy so I feel like this person definitely did a lot of inner work you probably have too I don't really see it here but I feel it um, and I feel like you you've grown a lot like the past you Sagittarius is so different than than the person you are today I feel like in the past if if you had approached somebody and you wanted to date them and you you know say this situation happened in the past you would have been really upset um, that they rejected you but I feel like you've gotten to a point in your life where you love yourself you know your worth and you don't let relationships or other people define you so you were okay with it like yeah you you were hopeful that it would progress forward and, and I feel like you still are hopeful that it will someday but you're not you're not holding on to it with everything you have it's not wrecking your day it's not like clouding your mind it's not taking over your life and that's very healthy so you're approaching this relationship this connection this person uh, or any love connection for that matter in a very healthy way and I feel like you didn't always do that so that's where the healing comes in on your side on their side they're just trying to get out of the doldrums there I feel like this person is just stuck in um, um, the fuck is the word I'm looking for Some, it's a uh, an oubliette 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 basically in the movie labyrinth and you know they had them in Europe and stuff it's a place to be forgotten so this person has been stuck in the darkness in the bottom of a, a dreary wet hole in the ground trying to forget all the pain they've ever been in so it's a place where you are left to be forgotten they feel like they're left out and they're getting over that and they're healing so I feel like this union is definitely destined whether it's friends only or not but I feel like there's the potential for more here is just going to go slow. 
And then we have strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, not necessarily. But somebody is having is trying to build up the courage to come forward and express themselves and tell you you are you are the light at the end of the tunnel you are what I've been hoping wishing and praying for like this person wants to tell you that you heal them you help them you make them a better person or you make them want to be a better person it's it's a very soulful and beautiful realization so this person is it's almost like you make them stronger. You make them believe in themselves, which they never did before. This person like comes off as being very stoic, like, you know, very confident, like I've got my shit together. The whole nobody would really know what's going on with this individual unless they unless they knew them on a deeper level because to the world this person puts on a show big time. They're very vulnerable but they don't act it. And you've seen that vulnerable vulnerable side of them. I was going to say vulnerability, but I just, my mouth is like, mm -hmm. anyways, you've seen the softer side of them, basically. And, and it didn't make you run away. They were the ones that pushed you away, and they know this. And they want to tell you that they're sorry, and they really want to move forward with you. They're sick of being alone. They're sick of um, going after all the wrong people. And they know that there is something special here between the two of you. You're their empress, and they want to tell you that. Because then we have the moon reversed and the four of swords and the eight of cups. That's what they want to come back and tell you. And I feel like with the high priestess here, they haven't told anybody about it, and you already know this is coming. Like, you have a feeling that they're going to approach you in some way, shape, or form. I just opened the deck up to the lovers. They're trying to make a decision in love, and that decision involves you. This person wants to come around and communicate. They want to be open with you. I feel like it's coming. Yay. At least we got a good one. So let's see. Can I get some advice? For my lovely Sagittarius, especially in this situation, which is awesome. Like, it's always great when we can work on ourselves to the point where we can move forward in a healthy and positive way. And I feel like you two would have a very strong and beautiful connection if this person can open up. That was me. <laughs> okay, that was not me. Make a commitment and stick to it. Either you, Sagittarius, or this person, I feel like it's the other person. Whoever is having a hard time opening up, whoever's guarded, they need to make a commitment and stick to it. I feel like this person in the past could have, you know, said that they wanted to start a relationship with you and then they kind of reneged on it and it, it left you in this like, what the fuck's going on kind of state of mind. Like, dude, do you want me or do you not? Like, make up your mind. So this is basically spirit saying that this person is going to make a, a commitment. They're either going to be all in or all out. And I feel like they're coming towards you to be all in. They're deciding to be happy. Decide to be happy now. This is basically um, advice for the other person. So the cross watcher, whoever you're connecting to. And I feel like that's what they're doing. They know that whatever's going, whatever they're doing right now is not making them happy. I feel like the conversations that they've had with you um, or the time they've spent, depending on, um, you know, how far you got with this individual, it did make them happy. But they need to learn to be happy on their own. You cannot be their happiness. It, like, whenever somebody puts that type of responsibility on you, it's it weighs on your shoulders so much that it devastates them when things don't work out. You need to learn to be happy with you without anybody. And I feel like you're there, Sagittarius. I feel like this person is getting there, but you do make them happy. You make them smile. And they're seeing this and they're missing you because I feel like you have pulled away. Um, and then this is your life's purpose. So you might be here to be with this person, but I really feel like there's something that the two of you are, when you come together, there's something that you're going to collaborate on, um, whether it's in business or just a hobby, but I feel like you're meant to connect with this person in some way, shape, or form because there's a bigger, 
there's a bigger reason there's a bigger purpose behind it and it is your life's purpose so if you're in the into the metaphysical if you read tarot if you are a medium or a psychic or um, I don't know I feel like it's something spiritual so it could be Reiki it could be anything I feel like it's something on the spiritual side it's bringing you two together because they have what you lack and vice versa so together you guys would be like the magician you'd be a powerhouse and it, this person just needs to open their eyes and let their guard down basically and not let fear hold them back and I feel like the reason why they're so terrified is because they know this connection is is a beautiful connection and when you have when you're presented with something like that it's terrifying because you don't ever want to lose it and this person has been thrown away in the past and I'm sure you have too I feel like you too have dealt with similar situations but you have grown a lot more than this person you might have been alone a lot longer than this person as well so you've had t plenty of time to think plenty of time to reflect on you know all the shit that's gone on in your life and just what you want and this person is just a few steps behind you so that's why it's taking so long but I do feel like there is a connection coming uh, coming towards you it's a a really beautiful one and you'll know if this is your message I just know you'll know but yeah that's what I have for you my loves um, if it made sense please like share comment subscribe the more you interact with me the more apt I am to pick up on your energy um, hit me up for a personal I love doing readings for you guys I did have somebody hit me up for advice and I'm like I it's hard because I don't like any prior information when I do a personal reading so if you just want my personal advice that's fine but um, when I do readings I like to go in with a blank slate because I just want to give give you the information that spirit gives me and I feel like if a reader asks you too many questions or needs to know the backstory to your situation then they're not legit I just that's just my that's just how I feel about it and I read so much better when I have no idea what's going on in your situation but yeah hit me up if you would like me to read for you my dears and I hope you have a blessed New Year's um, please be very safe you know if you're out drinking get an uber um, don't drink and drive and just have a blast and ring in the new year with nothing but love light and positivity and um, I'm not into resolutions, so I'm not making any because I feel like people never stick to them anyways. So I just always basically say my little prayer to myself about how I expect the new year to go. And, you know, the goals. What goals do I have? What do I want to achieve? Um, you know, just what do I want my year to look like? And I kind of send that off to the universe and hopefully they, they give it to me, you know. Um, I have been blessed by a lot so I'm very I'm very thankful for all of you and for everything that's happened up to this point good bad or indifferent because without the bad the bad shaped me as who I am today it, it really has and it's made me appreciate the good so much more um, so yeah just appreciate everything that's around you good bad or indifferent and celebrate even the smallest of blessings just celebrate the day, you know? But anyways, I love you guys, and I will talk to you soon, and I will be posting January read shortly, but you guys kind of are going to get a double for January because this is kind of January because the date and everything. But I love you guys, and I have so much exciting things to bring your way, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.